Now to the Kristen Smart case. Her mother took the stand today. It's day one in the preliminary hearing for Paul Flores. He's the guy charged with killing the Stockton native in 1996. CBS 13's Curtis Ming is here with what was revealed in court. Curtis. Well, the defense suggested Kristen disappeared before while working as a lifeguard in Hawaii. Now, we should note the judge is only allowing video of the defense during the hearings, nothing of the witnesses. Kristen's mom took the stand. The defense asked her if she knew her daughter was missing at some point in Hawaii, and she replied no. The defense also claimed Kristen was in danger of flunking out of Cal Poly and said she was applying for modeling jobs, even one overseas, using the nickname Roxy. Well, Kristen's mom said she was not aware of that, although her dad later took the stand saying Kristen did mention wanting to go to Thailand. Denise testified Kristen's last voicemail left on a Friday said she had good news to share and she'd tell her in the Sunday phone call, but that call never came when Kristen vanished. Paul Flores is believed to be the last person to see Kristen alive after an off campus party there at Cal Poly. Prosecutors claim Flores tried to rape her in his dorm room before killing her. Paul's dad, Ruben, now 80 years old, is also facing charges for trying to help hide the body, which was never found despite many digs in that area. Prosecutors are expected to call investigators, cadaver dog experts to the stand, as well as women to talk about Paul Flores' predatory behavior. Now, these hearings are expected to last up to three weeks, and a judge then decides if there's enough evidence to move forward with the trial. All right, we'll see where it goes. Thanks, Curtis. And tonight we are getting answers on why the stage is set for such a long preliminary hearing. They typically only last one to two hours. Uh, Alana Matthews, former Sacramento County Deputy District Attorney and a professor at McGeorge School of Law, says in this case there is a lot to unpack. The prosecution is going to have to draw a line, um, a clear line from where Ms. Smart was last seen, who she was seen with. Uh, Paul Flores all the way through 25 years of when the excavation happened and what court documents have also shown that biological evidence was found. Well, if the judge feels there is enough probable cause to go to trial, attorneys say an arraignment date will be set after the preliminary hearing and a possible trial date could be set well into 2022.